Hey, happy Saturday, guys. Happy, happy Saturday. Happy Catterday. Um, eh, it's like early Saturday morning. I just got up and decided to come down and do this painting right away before before the day gets away from me because it looks like it's going to be a gorgeous day out. So I thought, let's do this and then we're going to go outside and clean up my garage. So we'll start with toy of the day. It's this thing that I found down in the basement. It says funny football with these very uh, hexagonal, hexagonal shaped uh, um, footballs here. And then look at this crowd. They look ecstatic, especially this guy. Oh, these guys hate each other's guts. Look at those guys. He's just sad because he's angry at this guy because he can cover up his bald head with a hat. And he's angry at this guy because his head's starting to peel from a sunburn. I don't know. And this guy's very happy because he's got hot dogs. Oh, yeah. Look at this kid's showing it off to us like, look what I got. And anyway, inside Funny Football is... This folds out and turns into the football field. I think this side was laying in the shade. This side was sitting in the sun. And is it the same people on each side? No, it's different people. Hold on, hold on. Okay, let's see. Oh, wow, the people on th these people are facing the sun because they have sunglasses on. And they, uh, there's like some sort of like professor over here. But yeah, the, I, all the people on this side have sunglasses. Hmm. Hmm, this little piece fell out. Anyway, let's just put out the football field. Oh my gosh, I'm going to spend a long time on this. And then here are these little wind-up football players, number 32 and number 27 from the uh, the logos here. Was that like the the Starbursts and the... Uh, and, uh, oh, and the other one was says a, the A's, the ampersands. And then you just wind them up. I think this is why it's funny football, because this is going to be lots of fun. Here they go. And he's gone to the 40. Oh, my goodness. If you could have got this as a kid in the 80s, I remember this. Some, somebody had this. I think my cousin Danny had this. Um, boy, that is just hours. going to be hours of fun. Now they're laying on their back. Doing the alligator. Wow. <laughs> just gonna like make a like a 15 minute looping video of just these guys laying on their backs, walking. And uh, touchdown! Alright. Isn't that fun? Don't you wish you had that? You're gonna go on eBay right now. Go to funny football. Look it up. And I can't imagine. Oh, that's the original. That's not my painting I'm going to draw. We're going to be... What are we doing today? Oh, we're going to go back to the Renfest. Because because it's Catterday, A. Eh? Uh, we're going to do a few callbacks today. Um, so, you know, Lola did the other day. She did what we have just dubbed the hand in all caps that bursts out of the ground to... Uh, but it's not an evil hand. It it uh, just pops up to like wave at people and help people in need. Um, and uh, so we decided to bring the hand back already by popular demand and uh, have them come help out. So I decided since also since it's Catterday that uh, boosh. Uh, we're going to bring back some cats from the Ren Fest. I did these with, here's Brewster, the guitar playing dog. And then back here, I actually, and I never made mention of it. I just decided to, in the background, I put my friends Keith and Maya in the background as cats. Cause they have like, they have all the cats. And, uh, I thought, well, we'll just put Keith and Maya back here as cats. And then I never made any mention to it when I drew it. I was just like, there they are bearing a resemblance to Keith and Maya. And I decided that I'd bring them back today since it's Catterday. And what do cats like to do? Well, they like to do a lot of things, but let's say, should I make them bigger than that? No, that'll be about right size. Let's say that Keith got stuck up in a tree and they work at the Renfest 
since they're wearing the lederhosen in here, they're gonna they sell Bavarian pretzels at the Renfest, and uh, but Keith just could not he just could not keep from wanting to climb a tree, and so he got up there and then he realized he couldn't get down and then who burst out to help him but the hand came just shooting out from the ground to come help him down from out of the tree, just like magic. Here, here he is, just, I'm trying to decide if I want to put a look of terror on his face or of elation that he's been rescued by the hand or, or what, we'll see. I'll, I'll say, I'll even put, since he's at, does the Bavarian pretzel stand, let me just, I'll put a, put a pretzel flying out of his hand also. Pretzel shape, pretzel shape. Like that, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll sketch that in. And so it's gonna be kind of a forced perspective, so they're gonna look way up in the air, and then I'll put a concerned Maya cat way down here, down on the ground level, looking up, looking up in dismay. Not, not aunt dismay, just regular dismay. With her arms up in the air like, my husband. That's not her voice, though. Although it should be. And they'll have, you can just see like almost the, the roof of their, their pretzel stand here, their German pretzel stand. So, you know, I've just spent so long showing you guys football things. I'll just uh, sketch this in a little bit and then we'll go to inking. So, see you in a sec. All right, I got that sketched in. Kind of move some things around a little bit. But let's see, let's get... Let's start inking some of this in. So, I remember we all went to the Renaissance Festival on the uh, uh, German German Festival Day where they did hammer schlagen and all that good stuff. And we lit, all of a sudden the skies opened up and it just poured rain. And we just had to, everybody, just everybody made for the doors. Everybody barreled out of there. And uh, so everybody ended up in the muddy parking lot at the exact same time. And it took us like three hours to get out of the Renaissance, Minnesota Renaissance Festival parking lot, which, what are you gonna do? <laughs> it was really nice, because usually we'll go a weekend with the kids and then we'll do another weekend without the kids just with friends and thankfully that was one where we at least didn't have like young kids in the car but that must have been awful if somebody had kids in the car <laughs> but Renfest weekend I've already mentioned it before is one of my favorite days of the year and there's always going to be somebody in lederhosen there. I don't know. I've got lederhosen, but I don't think I've worn it to the Ren Fest before. And we've got, I, I know I've been wearing my kilt. But, I don't know. If, 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 it, if it all goes off this year and we go, maybe we'll have to shoot for it. Because Jen's got a dress for it, too. Because we had like an Oktoberfest shindig years ago that we still have costumes laying around from so i decided i'd move where the uh move where the uh pretzel stand is here i moved it over here so that i could kind of put it a little bit further of an angle instead of just looking directly at a rooftop so i could just put a little put a little bit of detail on it put a little sassafras on it here so it doesn't just look like a square so I moved it back just a little bit and I'll give it like a little German styling here. So there we go. I could go for a big pretzel right now at eight in the morning. That sounds good. But Trying to think of where we go. Oh yeah, Lucky Lucky Thirteen does that big giant Bavarian pretzel they bring on, like the big banana hanger thing. And that stuff is the sauce right there. They give you the 
the honey mustard and cheese sauce. And we'll put the little barrel garbage over here off to the side where people can chuck the wrappers and such afterwards. And then here, let me ink in, let me ink in the, the hand. So Lola did, I still got a piece of it. Lola peeled off a piece of the hand. Here it is. Just come throwing it in there. She also, for some reason, where do kids learn this S? Lola learned this S from somewhere and she drew it on here. Good gravy. I noticed it afterwards, but she peeled that off. She she uh, repurposed the rest of it, but for some reason she felt like we needed to keep a, a token, keep a token of the hand. So, so there it is. There, we'll kind of put a gnarly fingernail on it. He's getting pulled up by the shirt. <sighs> kind of a gloopy hand. Here we go. So I don't know if we don't end up doing the Renaissance Festival this year. Maybe we'll have to like, maybe we'll have to like do one in our yard or something. We'll have our own Renaissance Festival. I like doing that kind of thing. Put some stuff together. Get all the food favorites. Maybe we'll get the dogs. Get some dogs to joust. There we go. And I think Lola kind of put like, did she put scales? I don't, know, I don't think it's scales. It's just more like meltiness. Yeah. Kind of drew it like scales. It's more like, just like a melting hand. And just big clumps of dirt just bursting. Goosh. Oh, I better not forget his tail. I don't need... I guess some... But there are cats that don't have tails, right? I'm not a... I never had a cat, so I don't know that much. Oh, I put a bench here. I'm going to put a slight tilt on it, like maybe it's falling over. or starting to fall over. Just so it's got a little dimension. And then I put like a fully flipped over one over here. There we go. We'll make the dirt going far and wide. Because this giant, enormous, mysterious hand just came out of the ground to help this cat cat in need. So it's sort of a hero. And then, oh yeah, and then I decided, I was just trying to think of all the things at the Ren Fest. And there's oversized birds there. No, there are the stockade. You can usually, like, whatever. I've never done it because I like my friends too much, but I think you can like pay to have your friend thrown into the stockade and then they have somebody like throw insults at them and maybe tomatoes. I think they do the tomatoes at a different spot where you can get your head put in the tomato pit and, or no, you throw, yeah, you throw the tomatoes at the dude as, as he insults you and you're trying to hit him and, and he makes fun of your throwing abilities and whatever. Grand. I don't want to do that either. I'm way too thin-skinned to have even somebody paid to throw insults at me. I'd probably leave sad about my ability to be a man. All right, I'll quickly uh, finish sketching this in, or inking this in, and then I'll go into turbo mode. I don't think you need to see the whole dang thing, although I'm almost done. I'm going to put a tree right here, too, of course. So you can tell that he's getting picked out of this tree. And even though he climbed up there to get stuck, he had the foresight to bring some pretzels with him. You know what? Maybe he went up the tree to, like, make a delivery to maybe this bird's son or something. And then he got stuck in the tree. And he got up there and then the bird flew away. Or he just really, just when he sees a tree, he just has to stare at it for a while and goes, No, I'm not going to climb the tree. No, I'm not going to do that again. Should I climb it? No. I'm just going to get stuck. Oh, I can't. I'm a cat. I can't help it. Oh, I got to climb that tree. And then he goes up and then he's like, I can't get down. Why did I do this again? And then Maya's down here going like, oh, Keithy, you know you're going to get stuck in that tree. You done did it again. So like the firemen know him all too well in town. They're like, oh, Keith, again? Really, dude? We had to come help you out of that tree. I'll have to put the uh, firemen in here eventually, too, and then decide if they need to be Dalmatians or not. 
kind of feel like I don't want them to be Dalmatians. But then I also feel a little obligated that they should be Dalmatians. Maybe one Dalmatian and one, like, some sort of aquatic thing. Or no, wait, something that would like fire. I don't know. Oh, yeah, she needs a tail, too. Okay. All right. Turbo paint mode. All right, there it is. Here is the hand. The hand creeping up again. Here is the, the base. I just can't get watercolor this bright and so vibrant with the S just bursting from the ground. I should put the S on the hand. Eh, too late. It'd be some sort of mysterious mark. And then, uh, you know, this bird watching on in, in terror, the pretzel flying through the air. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put the Maya cat over here and just random, random black knight. I didn't want to put anything too detailed there, but just another onlooker as, as he just gets l lifted from the tree and rescued by, by the, the, the mysterious hand. So there it is. Now I'm going to go see if I can find, I think I might have some big soft pretzels in the freezer just right over yonder. I might make that for lunch. Well, to go with lunch. And uh, yeah, there we go. So there's another day. There's Keith and Maya, the cats for another Catterday, and the hand, another return. All uh, repeat characters except for just random night and, and on looking bird. So, all right, guys, have a good Saturday. I'll see you. See you tomorrow.